I found a giraffe toy, this one which I have since, since the 1980s, I think it was. I thought, ooh, any other giraffes? Well, yes, I managed to find four, so that's good. There's actually three here, but I'm only counting it as one. This is a very, very clever resonance toy, because the giraffes, if you set it going like that, something interesting happens, because the middle one, which has done all the swinging, is now almost comes to a halt, and the other ones start taking up action in a very bizarre way. I'll show a little more to camera of what's actually happening at the bottom. It's a little base like that. You know. We set them all still to start with, and then pull just, I'll just pull the outside one back, and I'll hold the other one firmly and see what the resonance does then. This one's hardly moved, but now he's starting to move really quite strongly. Very nice indeed. There are versions with swinging pendulums where you get it, but this is enhanced by the fact that in the back of the thing, and just underneath the head are those black round things, which are magnets. And the magnets are going close enough to each other to be able to influence the others. It did, as you see from the top of the black of the heads, had little horns originally, because I don't know whether you noticed, but giraffes do have little horns, not for tossing each other, of course but, you know, from earlier uh, forms of, of evolution. But that's a very nice version of resonance in a giraffe. So that's the first one. Here's another one which I've got really quite recently. This is a lovely idea. I think it's one of my favourite giraffe because it's so unexpected. It's uh, a clue would be if, if I hold this up to the camera and you'll see them, some markings here. I'll see if, if I can get them on the, in the light. Can you see some figures there? Yes. It's a ruler. And so it turns out to be, would you believe, it turns out to be... If I go really far back, my goodness, we can make a, a very, very long neck giraffe. I've gone right back to here. Look at that. Where's his head? Right up there. If I pull the thing, it goes zip. Woof. Back into a giraffe again. Very nicely done. So, quite a long tape measure inside means you can have a very, very long necked giraffe if you want to, or have a bit of fun with a jolly good design. Though. Here's another one which is again quite bizarre because it's part of a. Let's see if I can get it to go. That's right. It's part of a tumbling blocks or Jacob's ladder, and there's the giraffe, but he's all muddled up, quite muddled. So. To make him work properly, we've got to, I think, let me just think, oh yes, it goes this way like this, I think. There we are. I'll bring it further back so you can see the whole thing. This way is monkeys, there's, there's a, a group of monkeys, but this one here is a giraffe in about five sections, all weaving around like that. And it's one of those click clack, click clack, click clack blocks, which is very common. But to have giraffes is a nice one, I like that. It's nice artwork in it too, so good one. And the last one is something that my friend Rufus Butler Seller invented called a fanimal. This is a, a little battery operated fan, but it's got LEDs in it, so a bit like what I call the Skyrider principle that Ward Fleming invented way back in the 70s, I think it was. When you push the button, something happens. We come back to here, and there's four animals here, one of which should be our friendly giraffe, I think. That's the lion. He's all African animals. There he is. There's my friendly giraffe performing as well. He's running across the savannah in the middle of Africa. Very well depicted by Rufus. And finished it off with a gorilla. So four animals all appearing in the fanimal. But the giraffe, which is the one I'm looking for, was the third one. Nice. <laughs> Let's see him coming up again. And here comes my daughter giraffe pulling away. So there's some very nice giraffe toys around there. I just feel there should be some more. I mean, I did start on this one here, but um, I feel there's more giraffes somewhere if I start looking for them. Huh, do you like them? <laughs>